guys, welcome to your love reading. This is gonna be for your um, November 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This is gonna be for Virgo. We're gonna take a look and see uh, what your blocks and challenges are in love, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video po videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about um, Virgo. Virgo. What are Virgo's blocks and challenges in love? What are Virgo's blocks and challenges in love for November 2023? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. What are Virgo's blocks and challenges in love? Okay, we have the Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. Mm. Knight of Wands and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is really interesting. I feel like someone here is like trying to find themselves. Yeah, I feel like someone here is trying to find themselves. And also heal that wounded inner child here because I feel like someone here dealt with a lot of emotional abuse when they were a kid. Yeah, I feel like someone here doesn't really know who they are because I feel like someone here, someone's self-confidence over time has basically been chopped down like over and over and over again. Like I feel like someone here has always talked really poorly about you. And I feel like it's like a parent in particular because I feel like this is so interesting. You know, it's either like someone here wished that they had like a better mom or a better dad or something like that or both you know because i feel like someone here didn't parent someone really well yeah and i feel like there's definitely some sort of resentment towards towards a parent here and i feel like that's creating a bit of a blockage in love you know um yeah someone just doesn't really have the confidence here the self-confidence uh to um to be in a relationship because I feel like every time someone gets into a relationship, someone here is cutting themselves down, saying all these like bad stuff about themselves here. Okay. And you know, I feel like someone here might be thinking that, oh, this person's already thinking that, but it, it's not really true. Yeah. Three of cups and nine of swords. Yeah. You fear that people won't like you. You feel like you fear that people won't love you. And I feel like it's time to change that narrative. It's time to break free of this indoctrination of what your parents have said to you. You know, whatever they have said to you, you got to know that, you know, it's, it's not a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of what's going on in their inner world. You know, things that they haven't accomplished in life, things that, you know, they are really embarrassed about that they haven't healed from, you know? So, you know, I feel, it sucks that they took it out on you, you know? But you just have to know that it had nothing to do with you. Yeah, someone here has really suffered, not just in romantic relationships, just but but in social settings just in general, like in school, at work, you know, just out and about with friends and stuff like that, uh, and family, ace of pentacles, the lovers, the empress, Libra Taurus. Yeah, this is something that you're, there's definitely some sort of awareness surrounding this. And, you know, I feel like you're definitely working on overcoming this here, okay? This is so interesting because one of the one the, one of the things I'm getting here is that you've really healed yourself through this journey by having your own child. Basically, parenting your child so differently than how your parents parented you. Because I feel like you didn't want to carry on the legacy of like, okay, I grew up in a broken family. You know, my parents broke me. So, you know, I'm not going to continue on this legacy or continue this pattern of, you know, having my own children and breaking them, you know? So I feel like... Um, your healing journey began when you had a child. I do feel like a lot of you guys are divorced and you guys are single parents here. Now, if it could be a situation that you are together with somebody. 
but you're, you're still going through these insecurities here, okay? The Hermit, Virgo energy, yeah. The journey sort of continues. Tell me about Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on for November 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Is there anyone new coming to Virgo's life? King of Wands and Justice, Libra energy. Okay, Libra. Um, Some of you guys could be like, you know, some of you guys could be in the, uh, you know, you know, gay or lesbian or bisexual or something like that. But when you least expect it, yeah, your soulmate's about to come in. Yeah, your soulmate's about to come in. Or that you could be realizing that, you know, if you are with somebody, you're realizing that, you know what, this person is not trying to break me down. This person is supportive of me. This person is my other half. Um, but, you know, I just feel like you're definitely going through a lot of insecurities here with the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card. So what's happening, I feel like, you know, whatever you're going through here, you know, Virgo, this has been a, kind of like a long time coming. You're going through like a huge spiritual transformation. And I feel like this transformation started when you started having your child here, okay? If you guys don't have children, you know, and if you guys do plan to have children in the future here, you know, your promise to yourself is that you're not going to treat your child like your parents treated you. So that's where the healing is, okay? The King of Wands. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. Tell me of the Justice card. Justice and the Five of Cups. Mm. You know, I feel like you've changed so much as a person. Um, I do feel like this is like an ex-husband or ex-spouse here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person regrets treating you the way that they treated you. Um, because I also feel like this other person that you were with in the past year, they've gone through the same experiences as you did. You know, and they feel like when you guys got together, the healing already started beginning. You know, but I feel like this person never really was aware of their behavior or that they never got on board with the journey that you're on here because I feel like it's been ongoing. Yeah, when you least expect it, like I said, I feel like your show is coming in. We have the Emperor, the Empress. We have the Two of Cups, pay, uh, Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups here. Well, This journey has been long. This journey has been hard. But I do feel like your blessings are coming in. And I do feel like a lot. I really feel like you guys have done a lot of self-work on yourselves. I really do. Yeah. Another thing is like, I feel like the healing started beginning, you know, when you started teaching kids. I do feel like some for some reason, I don't know why, some of you guys are teachers. Yeah. Some of you guys are teachers, you know. The Ace of Wands here. The Six of Pentacles. The Judgment card. Wow. Something beautiful is happening for you, you know, and I feel like this whole process that you went through here, even though it's been hard, even though it's been difficult, it's been a beautiful process because it's leading to your, your soulmate, your partner, okay? I feel like you don't have any angst of, against this past person that you dealt with here. Maybe some of you guys do, um, but I do feel like for some of you guys, you guys remain friends with this person, very friendly with this person because you guys connected on something that was really horrible, you know? But like I said, I feel like, you know, this person never really got on board with you about, okay, let's do something about this. Let's heal together. Instead, this person kept breaking you down, okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.